Ahoy hoy, Tricky Luggers! How's it going, everybody? Happy Friday! Um, we are here. Do not, do, don't panic. Richard is here. <laughs> he, he will be here for the broadcast. He just happened to get a call, a work call, right before we were getting ready to start. So, we, um, we are gonna just launch off here. Here we go. Cheers. Mmm. So, hope that you are all having an awesome day. It is... October 2nd. And you know what that means? It is time for... It is Halloween month. I'm so excited. I know. <laughs> Sarah Kino, you thought we were on Twitch. Absolutely. Hey, Alex23, how's it going? Um, yeah, so I've got my official kickoff. I may actually wear this one on Halloween, too, because it's just too perfect. But I got my kickoff. I'm going to we be wearing a Halloween-themed shirt every show this month. <laughs> I don't know how that's different from any other show we've ever done, but um, anyway, um, that is uh, that is this month. And as you know, we're going to be doing our um, challenge builds all month are going to be Halloween themed. Um, just going to say, I know. <laughs> um, so I wanted to uh, let me. Yes, that was a Logan Tail cameo. Yes, he came running. Oh, he escaped. Yeah, he escaped the back when he heard me saying hello. But he hasn't jumped up yet, so I think we're trying. He's finally. Maybe he's learned that now. Don't jump up. Oh yeah, my hair is a little messy today. Sorry, everybody. This is what happens when I wash my hair and then lay on the couch. <laughs> it's all over the place. Um, uh, skip the divine t-shirt. Well, yeah, and uh, there's a couple of other ones that I don't that are like just like my generic yellow sh uh, uh, Lego shirts. Probably not as exciting for Halloween, but anyway, exciting. Welcome to Halloween month. You can see we've got. I did some cleaning yesterday, but golly, there's still lots of stuff places. Um, trying to just like move things around, and as you know, um, uh, or maybe you don't. Every day this week, I've been streaming on Twitch at 2 o'clock, and we've been building the Hogwarts castle that everybody uh, gifted me for my birthday, and um, and thank you so much for that, because it's amazing. And I'm going to show you kind of how far we've gotten, um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful set. So you can see here what we've been doing. These, partic in particular, these... Uh, stained glass windows are amazing um, and what we've got done so far of the model is pretty fun so yeah so I'm building that at uh, 2 p.m. every day on Twitch and if you want to whoa if you want to come check it out um, we are on Twitch but we are tricky underscore bricks on uh, on Twitch so don't look for the regular one. You'll be pointed to somebody else. But yeah, it is an absolutely fantastic model. Um, really, I've uh, been really excited building it. So it's um. But I'm yeah. Those um, those uh, stained glass. That stained glass window treatment is it's aces. And that's the other thing. If you're on, if you watch on Twitch, then you get to see all the cool little things that they built into this. Because really, if you would have seen like for micro building, because this really is what that is. It's a micro build of Hogwarts Castle. So, um, so as you know, this weekend is BrickCon. Hope that you have signed up and everybody's going to be able to see our, um, hey, Alex23, you're following now on Twitch. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, uh, yeah, you know what? You can see on, we, I'm doing, even though I'm doing Twitch, it's on Facebook at the same time. And I didn't realize I needed to be looking at the multi-stream, uh, chat instead of just the twitch chat i'm still learning but um i will uh yeah there you go so um gosh let's see what else oh big fun exciting news i'm almost um, there friend he's almost here he's almost here folks um there he is he's got cameo of him walking by it's like we're seeing all the behind the scenes just looking for glasses. there we go otherwise no one will recognize you hi there he is very good. <laughs> yeah, I made um, to leave early today. Things are exciting at yeah. work, but I'm glad to be here now. Awesome. Well, let's see who is here. We have, uh, especially when we, you know, oh, hit wow. the wrong button. I can't even see through my glasses. Yeah, you better get that. Logan has been known up. to lick 
glasses. <laughs> he does white lit on the glasses. Lens. Oh man. So let's say hey, so Alexander twenty three is here. Apples, Aqua Mike TV, Aubrey Kovach. Hi Aubrey. A uh, big screen bird. Rick is here. A uh, brickworm. A uh, chief brick geek. Oh my goodness. Uh, Chris misplaced my sig fig chalice. No. Oh, bummer. Uh, Cornado is here. Debo bricks. Holly. Holly. Hooded one. Johnny cat. Hey Johnny. Joshua Zender is here. Uh, Yano. Yano, the creator of the most amazing um, uh, Fab Max stop action animation ever made. Just saying. Um, the uh, Marilyn Parmley is here. Hi, Marilyn and the Parmleys. Uh, Matthew, Matthew Builds, builds bricks. bricks. Hey, Matthew. Mini, Mini Fig, Fig Chick, Chick. Monica Berry, and Moto. Moto. Which is now a regular thing, I, I think. I know. It's like the the, um, the three m Skateers. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I had to think about um, that too long. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Ellie Daniel 1. Uh, Ms. Slow Brickta. Uh, Patrick Wismer. Rob Ketcherside. Shane Levan. Shane McQueen. Oh, another Shane. Shane LeVan is um, here. I know. Uh, Smoke Up Johnny is here. Steve Parmley. The Hornburgers. Hi, Hornburgers. Hi, Hornburgers. Uh, Wilfred Bonsoir. Zach Highmark. Zach Martinez. And, and Zarek Hino. Hino. Kim. Wow, that was a long list today. I know, oh, my it's goodness. Busy, That's awesome. Busy this Friday. Ah, Matt English just showed up. Awesome. Very good to see you. Um, does Richard have a Halloween t-shirt underneath? No. Uh, what am I wearing? Really have I have Halloween lots of t-shirts. t-shirts and you never see them. This one is um, Abstract Mountains. Oh my goodness. With snow on it. I have a ton of t-shirts, but they're always underneath these short sleeve buttons. Fancy shirts. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, yeah. So, well, it, it's already up in the chat, but I wanted to say a big... Um, Happy birthday to our own Shane LeVan. Yay, and happy Shane, birthday, Shane. I'm actually going to ask you to, to go ahead and pop on now, since the since the cat's already out of the bag. Um, why don't you go ahead and sign on? And we're actually going to have Shane uh, on for a few minutes. But while we're waiting for him to pop on, let's take a look at our um, uh, badges, or pins for today. Badges, I'm suddenly British. You go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Badges. There we go. <clears throat> so, mine is one of my favorites here from America Sings, and then um, what's the one? Splash Mountain is the vulture with the top hat. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> good. Just waiting. Uh, and then I am to kick off our Halloween. I'm Mwah, wearing uh, my uh, Oogie uh, Boogie uh, Bash First Fright 2019, which is a freaking awesome pin. So, there you go. I can't wait to see Splash Mountain all redesigned. I know. For I, Princess, I, and the for Frog. Princess and the Frog. I hope they so keep cool. all those characters and just Well, especially you know, add all the more. New Orleans. I want to see all the New Orleans in the ride because I think yeah. it'll be amazing. I think they'll do a really great job. Another reason to go to a bayou. <laughs> exactly. Uh, John Latrell says, Swilliam Richard, when you do the Land Rover, be advised your brain may melt 10 hours in bag numbers one and two done. Whoa, oh, those my are goodness. some big bags. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that on air. Those those complicated Technic builds are so, like, I have to really focus and not make a mistake. Because if you make a mistake here and you're up here, there's going to be some serious unbuilding. <laughs> Hey, someone's at the door. Someone is at the door. Ding dong. Let's see. Uh, let's see who possibly could be here. I don't know. Who could it be? I don't know. Who could it be now? That's like the big That's the big question of the day, especially when we're getting ready here. Look at that. Um, you really want to watch us build it? Which is, watch us you build it. What's bu- that? Build the, the rover? That, oh, yeah. We're going to do the rover. Yeah. Well, that rover. might be a case where we do some on air and some off air so you don't like do every Technic pin. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there must be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Technic pins. Wait, so what did it say? The audio on YouTube was great. When it aired here, I could barely hear the voiceover. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. When Flynn aired it... I guess you're oh. meaning Twitch. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. People um, were talking with you about the volume on Twitch. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. That's not. Uh, that's something about I'm, I, that I don't quite understand. Who's at the door, um, Flynn? Well, hang on. I'm getting that ready. And I will, we will open the door to see who's here. I have to make sure we can... We've got all the buttons pressed okay. and Be the able things. able to say hi. Um, it's Shane! Happy birthday, Shane! 
Thank you. <laughs> How's it going today? It's good. Um, I really couldn't sleep last night, so I've been up pretty early today. And you couldn't sleep just because you were so excited? Am I allowed to say how old you are today? Oh, I don't care. He's Yay. 30, the big 3 0. Shane is a big 3 0 today. So, um, so awesome. 30 was a great year. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. And like all of the years, um, post 30, like 20s, of course, are like always kind of like, ah. And then like 30, just like, okay, I think I've got it mostly figured out. And then you turn 40 and they're like, oh, wait, no, I didn't have it mostly figured out. <laughs> Well, the one thing I think, I, I think about getting, you know, years older and all that, that the trade-off for getting older is I've had a longer time already knowing the things I like and what I like to do, so I've had more time to rack up experience points. I hope same for you. Yeah, so what are you going to do fun for your birthday? Um, I'm going to get sushi later. Uh, oh, Nice. This is probably like the highlight of the day, though, to be honest. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're able to come on and hang out with us. Do you, are you going to build something, I hope? You mean like on the, like live or? Like no, no, for your, for your like birthday. For yourself, are you going to build uh, something? Yeah, uh, probably. I'll probably tinker with some Lego later. Very I'm good. Off, I'm off today from work, so I, I have the whole day. Oh, oh cool. cool. That's always the best, right? Taking the day off for uh, for work is uh, for your birthday is always super fun. What's your T-shirt? Oh, yeah. So, uh, like, I'm constantly wearing, like, uh, artist merch. Um, and this is just, like, uh, a T-shirt of, like, um, a musician I really like, uh, Jackie Cohen. And, oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Cool. Very and, uh, nice. Yeah, it's a cool painting. <laughs> yeah. Dude, do you have any? Did you like? Did you get any Lego? Did you order any Lego for your birthday? Have something delivered? I haven't yet. That's the other thing I was planning on doing today was uh, going online and looking around to uh, possibly do a few uh, maybe Bricklink quarters or. Uh, Ooh. I know. I know Target has some of the architect architecture sets like kind of cheap right now so maybe i'll oh them. cool I love uh, those. very good very good yeah you like you're a fan of those architecture sets what how which ones do you have i only have the uh, tokyo one so far so oh okay I, flynn gave me berlin for my birthday since i lived there oh. for a while that's it's a awesome. nice build yeah i think we have berlin london um golly i can't remember i don't think we have the oh we do we have san francisco oh. Oh, no, you know what we, just we got have? Tokyo. I guess this was an earlier one, different than the new ones they're doing. But we have the Trevi Fountain. Oh yeah, the Trevi Fountain. That was one of our earliest. Uh, yep. Panic buys. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was thinking about getting the um, either the London or the San Francisco next because those are, I think they're only like thirty nine or whatever on um, Target's website. So. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Well, just do do us a favor. If you put together the San Francisco one, take out the Salesforce Tower, and oh, um, like build your own thing to go there. You <laughs> <laughs> not that we have feelings. Yeah, not that we have feelings about that. You know, I have to say, so San Francisco, it's super expensive to live there. It has been super expensive to live there for a long time. And I was, and I've been reading, of course, all through the lockdown. I've been reading these articles that are they're like. It's, um, it, the, the rents are plummeting, rents are dropping to the lowest they've ever been. And I keep seeing these reports over and over and over again. And so, yeah, but, and I never really look because the first time I looked, it was ridiculous. So I looked this time and they said that rents are down for a, oh, the average one bedroom to $2,800 a month. Wow, that's that's, that's way down. plummeting, and that's yeah. way down, yeah. down this time down. last year. That's so, so sad. Goodness. Anyway, um, yeah, no, Brick and Issa, I do not like the Salesforce Tower. I am anti uh, Salesforce Tower. No, we love the San Francisco skyline, and um, it just someone wasn't looking at the overall composition there i think no, i mean the model's beautiful but the city looks different with that big tower that's just our opinion and who who was it was it aqua mike tv said that he needed thousands of tiles if you scroll up a minute he's looking for thousands of tiles for a mosaic oh my goodness get some buy some um i, I don't see that oh, yeah. oh brickley carried comp 
Yeah, I think um, if you want tiles, buy those dots. Um, they, I mean, I guess you have specific needs. but I bet. It's probably a particular mosaic. And speaking of mosaics, <laughs> you've been doing more mosaics, Shane. I have been doing more mosaics. Um, I think they're just fun, and they're not necessarily easy to do, but um, I, sort of, I guess I like the, the limit of it because, like, you know, mm. if I've been doing 16 by 16 mosaics, so, like, I only have 256 studs to work with, and, like, there's a clear ending. I mean, nothing's ever really finished because you're always trying to make things better. But I mean, generally speaking, there's a clear ending point to the to the build. And like, you know, it's also easy for my brain to like, if I'm, if I'm like building from like an image or something, like I can clearly see, okay, this matches the image. So like, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's a pretty straightforward process, I guess, as far as like, um, for my brain, you know, like it can comprehend, like, whereas like if I'm working with, um, you know, a 3D model or something, like I'm always trying to add something or like, oh, maybe, maybe this will look better if I build this kind of wall behind, or, you know, whatever. But I guess I just like the, the process of the mosaics. Yeah, those limitations, actually, I think you have to solve problems in different ways. Right. And- and it's it's a lot more pixels than eight bit, yes. sixteen by sixteen. Well, I've been yeah. seeing. Um, I saw Tiago has been posting um, pictures of. He did the Darth Vader mosaic. Uh huh. And that thing, oh my goodness, he was like showing just like open bins of one by one round plates. <laughs> like it was going to take to put that together. I'm always amazed by people who can do that. I gotta say, especially like the really highly detailed ones, like mm-hmm. Sam does, because he doesn't use a program. Like he just straight up free like, builds. It, it's his yeah, eye. I could not do I'm that. Always, I'm always blown away by uh, the mosaics that JMW Music does, since he he works in 32 by 32. Yeah. He always like, I mean, whenever he um, like, he'll usually work on those if when we do our live stream are you know the one that we do on um we haven't done two recently but uh nighttime he'll, uh, he'll do those live and like um you can tell usually tell instantly what he's building just from like the first few bricks he lays down because it's just like he knows exactly the right bricks to put down and like what's gonna sell them the the mosaic and stuff and so i'm always really impressed by what he does yeah well his his are um and he always does like when I see him building live. It's like, yeah, it's like his superpower is doing mosaics like free style. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're going to uh, move along to the slideshow here in a minute. So cool! Thank you so much, Shane, for coming on and joining us, and happy happiest of birthdays. And um, I hope that everybody realizes how much Shane has done behind the scenes for the, the, the Tricky Bricks build and chat. It's been, he's done a lot of work and um, it's been an awesome, awesome can I, help to us. So can thank I show, you. Off, show off my pin real quick? Yeah, oh, yeah I'll show you please pin, do. Please. Yeah, so uh, to, I guess, go along with the shirt that I'm wearing, I also have this uh, really cool uh, pin from the same artist. Um, oh, that's love great. It. That's so cool. Right on. Yeah, so I'll, I'll put it on like right after I get off here, I guess. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Well, Shane, I hope you know what an important part of the ensemble you are. It's great to have you as part of the cast, even if you're not on screen as much as some of the people in the cast. <laughs> oh, I, I very much am just blown away by uh, the support from you guys and from everyone in the chat. And I just love being a part of this community and whether or not I'm on screen or whatever, like it's just um, it's just an honor to be a part of all this. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Shane. All right, we will talk to you very soon. All right. Bye, Shane. I hope Bye, you have Shane. lots of reasons to laugh today. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. That, well, that was so was, cool. That was awesome. I love being able to um, to have him on. That was great. Yep. Um, let's see. So, oh, actually we do, I forgot. We do have a couple of other things before we move on to the slideshow. Okay. I just remembered. Um, let me see real quick here. I'm going to look something up. 
Um, and while we're waiting for me to look this thing up, yes. um, we are going to check out this exciting thing that happened. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Good exciting news. thing. Lego shared our build, our Lego IKEA build, yesterday on the launch day of the Big Black Boxes. On the launch day. I um, think they liked it. So that is super exciting. Oh, hey, Kai's Monkey Lego. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, glad I'm... you're here. Thanks for joining. And I saw Kyle Lee Pocock came earlier, so good good to see, see you too. Um, yeah, so this was very exciting. And then also I saw Lego Middle East also has a, uh, a feed, and they put this one up. And then I saw a, a commercial. Coolest thing. Like an actual video commercial that they that um, had put together and was showing on the Lego account for the Lego Sweden account. And it had a whole bunch of all... Because, you know, a bunch of people worked on this project as well. Like, other people did builds as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there were some really fun builds here. I actually can show you some of the other ones. Um, that is from Mind the Brick. Did a really fun one. Oh, cool. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Um, this one... Th I really love this one, too. Dave Coletta. This was one is, of my favorites. Yeah, this was one of my favorites, too. I think and I think really many Big Chick and Paint Pusher have one of these, like... Yeah. One of these not out of Lego. <laughs> so this is... Yeah, so these are some of the things that other people have done uh, uh, for theirs. But yeah, so ours got a nice feature, and then we got a feature in the video. So they were showing, they showed like flashes of a bunch of different people's work, and ours was in the video commercial. That's so, so fun. Hooray! <laughs> oh, yeah, so here's the thing like, it launched yesterday, but in store only, apparently. Oh, well, we know, I read someone on Facebook went to Ikea and got some yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I'm imagining there's going to be, you know, it takes a little bit, especially with, you know, us being in a, oh, Coco, we don't have to wear these anymore. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Uh -huh. Especially with us being in, uh, you know, like lockdown and everything, I'm probably a lot of places are going to have it, but um, it will be online, I believe, October 15th is what I heard. So anyway, that was some exciting news. Um, I'm just going to put that there. His thing, if you can help me with the. There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm okay. So I'm still doing. I'm still doing a little bit of uh, backstage work here. All right. Um, and I'm gonna see what I can do about that. Uh, let's see. You know, Flynn wouldn't tell you anything about this, but I was pretty psyched. Brickmaster Amy likes this piece that we did. Oh, yeah. And, and especially liked Flynn's paint splooshes out on the sides as well. That was so cool. It was just such a nice, nice note from her. I will say that was really fun. Um, so, okay, so I'll put us back over here. Uh, so while I Look do at that. this. Okay. This is very good. And I apologize. Sorry, folks. You had a I lot am, going um, on over there. I do. I do. I, I generally have a lot going on. Let me see what's going on in the chat. Um... Oh, Moto's going to Ikea right now to see if it's there. Okay. So, uh, so there was that. Then there was, what was the other thing? Was there anything else? <laughs> oh, I can't remember um, now. Yes. What's actually, that? Actually, isn't there, wait, was there, there's, Angela didn't have anything going on today, did she? Oh, Angela does have something. Let me go get her. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Meanwhile, I'll just leave you with... Oh, can we do this? Ha <laughs> ha. There's Minimoto. Oh, where's his face? Minimoto, he's out of focus on a giant, giant shark. That's, there. That's a Thunder Man. Oh, my but, goodness. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It was Thunder Man. You know, why Why did Minimoto <laughs> and Thunder Man come together? Is because, well, because, because we Moto know, is we know friends. Thunder, we know, yeah, yes. Moto, Moto is friends, friends with, with Thunder Man. With Thunder Man. So, oh, my goodness. Yeah. I get names wrong. There's, and we're not going to talk anything about secret identities because we don't know anything what? about that. I don't that. know anything about that. Um, okay, so we do have, um, there is something happening, I believe. Oh, that's right. You know how you can tell the difference between Thunder Man um, and Moto? How's that? Moto wears a shirt. There you go. Thunder Man wears a cape. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right. It's the thing from the crypt. Uh, 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 uh. Um, all right. So today I have some some um, two pieces, and again, this is like to kick off. Uh, this is sort of to kick off. Um, it's October. Halloween because October. Um, I have this gigantic, oversized Dracula mug. To me, that's what I'd look like if I had that much coffee. And this giant, oversized Frankenstein mug. And honestly, I have no idea where I got them. I've had them for so long. But they sit on the mantle. Yeah, had, right behind us on the couch. Yeah, we had plants in them at one point. Candles. We had candles in them at one point. They provide a lot of uh, services. But they, yeah, they are a main decoration of my living room. You know what would room. be fun would be water and dry ice. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's what needs to happen. Like Water a fog ice. chia pet. So there is a there is a um, there is our thing from the crypt. Mwah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, you would not want to. You would not want to drink coffee. You would not want to drink mm -hmm. coffee out of that. That would be yeah. Thank you, bad news. Angela. Oh no, I gave it away um, for your help. Thanks, Angela. You're very good. All right. So I think it may be about that. Time. What time for the slideshow? I think it might be time for the slideshow. Let's okay. see if we can. Uh, whoops, Frank. Oh, wait there. I'm ba -ba -da -da -da. All right. So, yeah, those are really fun. Um, hey, Emperor Up, how's it going? Good to see you. I'm so glad you joined us today, and thank you for uh, for turning something in. We super appreciate that. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to put my glasses on because Grandpa needs his glasses. And have we seen Ms. Slow Brickta before? Yes, she's been here a few well, times hi. over the past week or so. Welcome back. Um, she is the sister of one of, I think, is it Monica Berry or Brickworm? I can't remember now. I'm so sorry. Cool. Um, um, let's see. More know, families on the yes, building chat. Exactly, exactly. I just found out Brickworm's my dad sister. watched. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, your dad did watch. Yeah, it my dad watched when we were building the ship. Oh, he liked the show. Oh no, Cornado says it's extra scary because um, his daughter becomes a teenager. Uh oh. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, <laughs> and we did have this awesome. This was super super about cool. This. We got this yesterday from Fourth World Adam. Um, this awesome Logan cartoon. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you so much. He sent that to you online, right? So yeah, just, yeah. So like, he, he made it on that lined paper, and then we printed it out here. That's so awesome. I love that. Yay, Logan. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you so much, Fourth World Adam. That's awesome. Um, okay, here we go. We are going to kick off our slideshow finally let's see where we at slideshow slideshow Joshua there we go. Is under understands about having teens <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure um how oh, many entries fun. so many you know what I, there were i think 50 something entries this time a lot like way more than we usually get so because of the i think because of the smaller the smaller tighter theme yeah the uh, text is tiny it's like reading a phone book if you remember those so this is from fourth world adam uh oh right on segued that and i did somehow didn't manage to do it hey jeff McElwee, welcome how's it going we're just about to start here um so this is while i can't find hair or a beard that matches mine this is what i could come up with understood um maybe lego will venture out to the mighty pacific northwest and bask in the glory that is untamed beards and wild hair in their next minifigure box collection <laughs> these sh i mean come on you know uh, mark and boone like boone i mean mark especially he's got that like massive beard now yep um i tried showcasing my hobbies here which is obviously lego the rocket action figures music and comics the Mandalorian's peeking out there. I know. I love the little. I love the helmet and and uh, and the action figures with the micro figures are great. And the Iron Man mask. This is super fun. And yeah, and um, and he's got his guitar with. So awesome. Yeah, very fun. And the comics too. Great. Yeah, great. I like. You can see that it's not a solid wall behind the bookcase either. Yeah, and then also the um, the he did a little base on it with the textured bricks. Which Always makes them look so much so finished, right? Yeah. Really cool. Hey, John Williams. Hi, uh, what's up? What is up? We've missed you. You've been gone for so long. Oh, my goodness. Um, so glad to have you here. This is great. John Williams or uh, uh, AKA JMW Music. Oh, yeah. So, um, all right. 
Let's move along to, oh, you know what? I think I may have to fix something real quick. Okay. So, sorry, we're going to look at Fourth World Adam's uh, thing for a few seconds longer. I do like the the sort of neutral yellow background. I think it adds so much color to that brown bookcase. Yes. Too. Uh, sorry, I'm doing my best here. That's okay. We see a lot of this in, in photos now, the neutral backgrounds, uh, in photos on the Bilden chat, way more than we used to see, right? Yes. People are really thinking a lot about the lighting and composition of the shots. Oh, my goodness. And the corner presentation, I think, is really good here, too. It's, like, wide angle and coming right out at you. Okay, I think I fixed it. Did you? Yeah, I hope so. Ta-da! Hey. So, uh, this is from Alex23. Um, and this is, it says, After saving the wasteland from Squeaky Squad's tyranny, Alexander23 decides to just suit, to sit back and chill at his makeshift home. <laughs> made from Lego bulk only from five large handfuls of brick. To save the wasteland, however, came at a price. Because now Hamilton the hamster has a new hideout. Um, for Squeaky Squad to continue their crazy antics. Stay tuned next time for Alexander23 and the Squeaky Squad. I love Hamilton <laughs> Hamster. <laughs> and his giant helmet. Oh, that's great. Oh, oh look. cool. The there's a, all and there's a, there's a Pugacorn. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I gotta see that. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> He's got his own little pug house. Well, I love that, I love that you took the advantage of the height. And like went and built up, right? Yep. And I love your sig fig, and of course, I will never not find a hamster in a helmet hilarious. <laughs> and the fact that his name is Hamilton, because of course it is. All right. This next one is from Amper Up. That's Monica Berry, our own Monica Berry's daughter, who's built who has built something for us this time. So exciting. Um, Amper Up goes on an adventure in the jungle. How many creatures can you find? Okay, let me see. I see three, right? I see four right now. You see now, four? If you don't count her. Yeah, there's three ladybugs and a tiger. And a tiger. So that's four. Let's keep a count. So that's four. Oh, Whoa. wow. Look at that collage. I see a panda. That's five. A monkey is six. Frog. A frog seven. is seven. An owl is eight. Uh, Chameleon is nine. Yes. And did we get the monkey? I think monkey did we get I or not get monkey. is 10. And then are those... Uh, oh, and there's another owl. And then those 11. are flutterbys on the top, right? There you go. So I think like 12 or 13? Golly. That's a lot in one small space. It... <laughs> it's well, And I love the... Oh, two the, chameleons. There you go. The use of the curved um, vine there is really cool. Yeah. The monkey likes it. And there's the sig fig. Very cute. Thank you, Amper Up. That's awesome. What a fun piece. And of course, I like we like to do, uh, have the little games. Oh wow! Check this out. Fun. How fun! Oh, this is so fun. This is apples from apples. Hello, Flynn and Richard. When I turned thirty, I quit my job and went traveling. There you go, Shane. Nice. <laughs> Due to family reasons, I had to return after three months, so I managed to see just most of Western Europe, um, where my sig fig has been accompanying me and posed in photos for me. The second one shows my love for sci-fi. Very well, cool. in, in this first one, I love the use of, is it candles are used as the columns there on the lower left? Yeah. I think those are candles. And then there's a shield standing in for another building with a peaked roof. No, those aren't candles. Those are, that's the one by one brick that has a little bar that stick, like a, a vertical bar that sticks off of it. And then it's got a tile underneath of it. Oh, I see what you're saying. The bar is sticking out towards us, it's, and we're looking at it end on. Yeah, that's really, um, that's really, really Yeah, brilliant. and that shield and the solar panel are both great as micro buildings. Uh, this, so that is fantastic. Really, really cool. And this is the sci-fi one. And um, I have been instructed to say, we are bored. There you go. Resistance is it's futile. Resistance is futile. That part wasn't in the script, but thanks for picking it up because I forgot. That no part. problem. <laughs> you will be assimilated. Yeah, this is, wow, really oh, the, fantastic in a small, again, in a tiny space just packed with detail. Yep, yep. I am um, I am in love with both of these. It's like, excellent job, um, Apples. Thank you Ooh. so much. And the... He, 
You fit in the one ring, too. In the one ring? One ring to rule them all. Oh, yeah, right there. yeah, yeah. Oh, and look, that's that eyeball. Um, like the one that we just one got. We just got from, um, from orf uh, Brick Orphanage. Oh, that's so awesome. All right. Oh, and Ooh. that's it from the... T oh, they're back to back. Oh, that's so cool. They Fun. are back to back. Wow, so that's even more packed into a small space. That's yeah. incredible. Well, and check and out this so use. Impressed. Check out this use of the robot arms on the curved... Um, yep. You know, one of those things that curves. Yeah, apples, I think you've just blown everyone's mind. Yeah, this is this. really nice. Really, um, this one, I think this one. This gets nice a work. I mean, they're all amazing, but I'm so impressed by how much you were able to fit in a small space. Like, mine feels stupid. And did you see the, the vintage goodness. workstation, too? Yeah, it's just really, it's all around fantastic. Good so, job. Awesome. Thank you, apples. All right. This is from Aquamite Some TV. In the depths of the o ocean, a new evil arises, but with evil comes good. A new hero has risen, and he is here to face the evil upon the surface. Aqua Mike, Prince of Aquatos. That's <laughs> awesome. That's a great name, too. <clears throat> and what a great um, what a great use of pieces. So he used a burp at the bottom. And I saw earlier, somebody was asking, saying they were new, what's a burp and a lerp? And a merp. So a big ugly rock piece is a burp. Yep, a little ugly rock piece is is a lerp, and a medium ugly rock piece is a merp. There's so medium it's ones. Bur I, yes, there oh, are. So they're new, and it's it's a it's a completely molded piece. There's tons of them on the Hogwarts castle. It's an already yeah. molded piece of rocks. It's a um, great. It just saves you so many bricks building up rocks. Yeah, it's a fantastic one. So, and I love the the um, the uh, the shark. You know, swimming like over yeah. the surface, and the the transparent pieces um, going up and holding up the sig fig at the top. Yep, it's really great. Oh yeah, great. It's oh cool. Oh, it's back, two back to burps. Back burps. Back to back. Back to back burps. Very cool. Reminds me, we had pizza the other night. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Back to back burps. This is wonderful. I um. Oh, let's see. So fun. this is from Aubrey. What sorcery is she planning for this month's Harvest Moon? Only time will tell. Wow, uh, Aubrey. I am. S this is so great. Oh, Aubrey, please, like, and no pressure, but please build more things for these challenges because yeah, yeah. I love your style, so full of detail, and it's just really, really fun. This really makes me think of Crystal and Amy, too. Yes, this, has, this definitely makes me think of Crystal and Amy, too. And I love the um, I love the NASA rocket and the computer with the narwhal on it, um, and the, the use of the dots, um, yep. tiles, the little pot with the with the plant growing out of it. Yeah, the dots as, as art on the walls are great. And I have to say, oh, the bat, I just saw the bat in the window. And I have to say, that lay-in of the moon in the background, or I guess maybe you had a piece of paper, I'm not sure how it is, but it just it's really great. suits it and it fits in. Yeah, really, really and nice. it's, it's so focused that the line of the telescope is just pointed right at it. I think it gives the composition a really nice focus. Well, and I love the... Um, the uh, the pink um, hourglass, which is a f um, a favorite piece yeah. of mine, by the way. They don't come in many sets, but the hourglass is fantastic. Oh, hooray! And so, yeah, I love the um, the. I just love it all. I love all of it. <laughs> really great, and the, and a mini doll as a um, as the sig fig, which you don't see very often. I like mini dolls. It took me a while to come around, but I love mini, mini doll dolls. has a tattoo on its arm, and I am yep. here for that. Whoa, <laughs> you're right. Oh yeah, that hourglass is really cool. There's a purple one, I think, and a pink one. Yeah, and um, wow, yay, Aubrey, thank you so much. Um, all right, this is from um, Avernus Workshop. By the way. Happy birthday tomorrow to Remy Baker. Uh, I was holding on to that. Until so we many got birthdays. Here. I know. Um, so happy birthday, Remy. Um, you've been a big part of the stream since the beginning and always turning in awesome work. So um, happy birthday tomorrow to you. 
Um, oh, I and love so that says, color in this one. My long day is over. My sig fig is the spaceman from the 1989 Lego oh, Laser Ranger set. Oh, with the diagonal. Um, my favorite set as a child. After a long day of spacefaring, he hangs up his gear and enjoys a good book by the light of the twin alien suns. Nice. That is fantastic. And I love the work outside the window is is delightful. It's yeah, just... the light fixture, the plant in the window, just yeah. all of it. Wow. These are and all... with the original smiley face that that, that, that um, astronaut would have had. <laughs> These are all making my 15-minute build look very really Well, sad. I gotta admit, I had a very... I, I, I was gonna build... Uh, I was gonna build a bunch of stuff this morning and last night, and I was really distracted. Um, so, well, you've uh, had a lot I, of work lately. I yeah, think it's I, okay. well, I've been very busy at work, yeah. but I think I'm going to turn in my submission on Monday because I love this challenge. And yeah, I do it. I'm, I'll probably improve upon mine as well. Um, Glenn, so this is oh. great. Um, more, uh, more images. I love that chair, by the way. It's like a barber chair with a little, <laughs> like with a with a little cup holder. So, Flynn, what time is it? It is uh, that special time of the day, everybody, that it's you've that all been waiting for. It is... Yay, Logan! Hi. Hi! Look what time it is. It's your favorite time of the day, and that is Logan Cookie Time, brought, brought to you by, by Andrew Hornberger and, and the, the Hornburgers. Hornburgers. Thank Logan, you look, so much, catch... Hornburgers. Oh, that, al that almost cost. Yeah, fun. I'm not going to be looking. Sorry, I'm there. not going to be looking that close Here, next time. You can time. have one last Here. one, just a little half. You right? Look at the camera. See, look, everyone. He likes cookies. Oh, what a good boy! Yay, Logan, you are a superstar. He's happy it's Friday. <laughs> he is. Yeah, he's done. He's happy. All right, there we go. Uh, let us. Uh, um, let me get back to the slideshow here. Uh, there we go. All right. Yay, this is so a happy place. This is from Big Screen Bird. Love this. And what a fun mm -hmm. little the the bar the grill, all the little the little sauces on the side, um, the giant spatula. Um which <laughs> that is spatula is cool. I believe that is from Fabuland. I'm See, pretty it has sure that it is, feel, which is it? when it's and it's also like that really big, right? And then is this a steak off to the side here? I couldn't decide if it's steak or ahi. Yeah, I think it's like a stark a steak or a, or a, a fish or something. But yeah, it's really um, it's really clever. So he says, "This is bird here, and finally been able to send in a mock. Awesome! Um, this is me doing the thing I love almost as much as Lego: griddling and cooking. There's lots of food for everyone, so come on down to Nashville whenever you can." Love now I that. want barbecue. Now I want to go to Nashville and have this barbecue. Look, it's a <laughs> it's a sunny day. Oh, and it looks really great from behind too. The little like the bricks for the little wall and look yeah, at and all the, of and the, the dials. Yeah, on all the, the grill. dials on the grill. Oh, and I just realized is that um is the little wheel hubs um is that supposed to be like the uh, gas canister? Like I, would, I was canister? thinking it was a rolling barbecue. Oh, like a rolling barbecue. Yeah, of course. Of course. There you go. All right. So good. All right. Oh, I think I know who this is from. Wow, people took that height challenge seriously. That's awesome. People? You know who this is, right? I mean, there's only one person this could be. Um, this well, with the is banana. from Brickinista. Yay, Brickinista. Batman, Brickinista, and Vermi are excited that Super Sewer Baby has returned to the Batcave with his banana around the jetpack. Um, he starts to lower the vehicle into the recharge pod, only to find that the janitor and Ice Ice Baby have followed him and infiltrated the Batcave. Oh. What will the heroes do? Stay tuned for the next episode of The Adventures of Super Sewer Baby. <laughs> I love the use of Technic bricks with holes for a texture. I think yeah. that's so cool. Well, it, yeah, and it look and it just it makes it look like a, an easy building, right? Like, like it's a skyscraper. It's that kind of Gotham feel. Yeah, and I love that you've incorporated um, the like other builds that you've made into this build, it's which Burmy. is always fun. Yep, it is Burmy and Brickinista. Very cool. Love it. Yeah, the backdrop's really yeah, nice. Yeah, the, the lighting. Cool. And I love the backlighting. Like it has this whole like backlit thing yep. going on, which is really fun. Yeah, it makes those trans pieces um, 
light up and really gives you edges on the holes. Well, and it also, the, in the first picture, kind of makes me think of the bat signal a little bit. Because mm -hmm. it's like that round, you know. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm seeing like three lights here. This is a complex lighting setup. Yeah, it's really, um, really nice. Thank you, Brickanista, for another amazing uh, photo set. Nice work as always. Ooh, this is so fun. So this is Surrounded by Rainbows, her family home, and the picturesque Pacific Northwest Brickworm, the hoarder of Lego, pulls off her horns and pulls out some tools to work on one of the many projects spilling off of her desk. Or spilling over her desk, sorry. Um, this is so colorful and fun. It's really fun, and I love that you got to use your um, your uh, printed brick with your name on it. Um, so well, the, I think the balloon construction is really cool. Using those bars, those red bars on the red balloon to support the others gives it such a great shape. Yeah. Oh, how fun. And this the is rocker really hinge. Great. Yep. Oh, I love the close-up. And you have your dragon suit on, and that, and that's the Heart Lake City map, I believe. But like it's, and but it's like a painting being used as a painting here. I think it's so clever, so colorful and fun. Yeah, really, 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 really great. Yeah, and the and did you see the up house? Yes. There at, um, with the and we, yeah, I mean you talked about the balloons. It's just so and the airplane and the Seattle Space Needle. Yeah. Tiny and a boat, space like this is being like used as a boat. This is fantastic. Well done. See, well a, done. a number of people have, have sort of surrounded themselves with ideas that they think about a lot. Like that's definitely that's what I plan to do in my piece as well. Yeah, this is uh, that was super fun. Very kind. Ah! <laughs> 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 All right, this one is that is that a stock piece? What? What are so, those graphics on that? So this is from Cole. And by the way, Chris Chalice, I know you're here, but I have a note here from Marae that says your photo is missing. So if you can resend your photo, um, we will uh, we'll put it up on Monday, if you, if you could. Um, okay, so this is from Cole. And Cole says, here you see Cole making his permanent doodles on a completely suspecting victim. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, I guess that means Cole is a tattoo artist. I love this tattoo studio. So first of all, the the tattooed torso, which I believe is a custom, is pretty hilarious. It's and great. And the, the syringe is the tattoo needle is great. Well, the garbage can there. This is someone who understands tattoo. Yeah, right? somebody who's a, ta a tattoo right. artist. Obviously, like, all the ink on the on the shelf. Yeah, the inks on the shelves, and then there's the little. I love that. Now I'm not quite sure if that's supposed to be flash on the wall or whether that's the the little thing that tells you you have to be 18 or older and not drunk. And is that is that <laughs> actually a sharps container up there too? Like they know this is someone who knows tattoo inside out. Oh, so it's, it says it's a small excerpt from a full studio build we did. Oh, that's so cool. That's I would great. love to see the whole thing. That's Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Well, very nice good. shapes on the chair too. I like that headrest. Very nice. Yeah, I love that scroll that scrolled tile is great. The the it's the wizard scroll and it's a, a sharps container. Okay. Yep. Very good. Very good. Wow, I'm so impressed. Really, really nice. Hooray. <laughs> Modeling. It. You can model stuff in Lego. I know, who knew? I just said, I know who knew. That's ridiculous. Okay, so this is um, uh, Cornado. Um, typical night making dinner at the NATO residence. Chainsaw the Chihuahua staring at me like I owe her $5. <laughs> Leah the cat doing figure eights between my legs, surely trying to make me fall. Nala, the German Shepherd yellow lab mix, laying down in my blind spot, guaranteed to finish off the cat's dastardly plan. Sloan, the daughter in her room, staring at her phone. It's the best. I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> well, this is like our kitchen, too. There's a meat cleaver on the counter with all these pets right there. Like, Logan wants, takes the most dangerous moments in our kitchen and gets right there. This is... It's, it's so fun. It's really great. Um, oops. Sorry, I went too far. Lots of action in that. I know. I love. I love it so much. I love the window, the the, the window over the counter, by, behind the, the behind the counter, and yeah, the, the sink area, or the sorry, the stove area. All yeah, of it is just super fun. Those Star Wars tiles for the um for the top of the stove are cool that's too. that's a pretty brilliant use of pieces. I gotta say. Yeah, I use those. Those are I use those same tiles in my um, Cthulhu, as my Cthulhu. Oh, eyes. as the eyes, right? <laughs> it's meant to be. 
Very cool. Spatula City. Oh my gosh, Patrick. There's like three people who will recognize um, that reference, and I am one of them. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have to step away. All right, oh, bingo. I'm sorry, I have to go. <laughs> All right. So. <clears throat> All right, let's let's see. Oh, look. I think it's beautiful. Very nice. Okay, so this is from. Oh, I'm gonna turn it over. We have a long, long list today. Uh, this is from See You Later. Um, hi, Tricky Lug. First thing is the shirt I'm wearing. It is my first, uh, my first Lego Love, the original classic space set from 1979. I was 12 years old. Unfortunately, I no longer have it. As an AFOL, I've been collecting for the past 20 years. I'm a huge Batman fan, and I have a lot of Batman sets. My two cats are. Uh, Scrappy left and Scooby Doo right. <laughs> I have five nieces, three nephews, and two great nephews. My favorite drink is Mountain Dew. I am uh, I am just a collector and builder of Lego sets. My mock for the Fab Max Furry Road collaboration was the first time I did a mock. I guess now this is my second mock. Fantastic! I am so excited that you did your first and second mocks right here on um, on our show for our challenges. That's so awesome! Bye, Aquamike TV. Thank you so much. Um, this is wonderful. This is, this is just wonderful. <laughs> and I love the representation of, um, your nieces and nephews in your, um, as the micro figs, um, the can of Mountain Dew. And yeah, and I love those posters in the back. I, I gotta say, I, um, that last round of Batman ones, I missed out on the bat, uh, the bat fan that has that detective comics tile. Man, I wanted that one. I'm I'm have to pick that up that tile up at some point. That's great. Oh yeah, the Mohawk cat. That's um I mean his in this one, it, that's Scrappy Doo, but in the like the real character's name is Scarfield, which always, always makes me laugh. Oh my goodness. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Wow, y'all did a really amazing job with this. Um with this one. This is from Depot Bricks, uh, myself and my city with Mini Falcon and Katamari. Awesome. This is my build room where I have spent most of the last six months. And this is the reference photo. And there's Galactus, our good buddy Galactus in the background there. And back to this. This is so, this is wonderful. I love how you've represented the different things in your room. That's so clever. That is so clever. Very cool. Love it. Okay, this is from FabuFan MKE. Here we see FabuFan MKE working on his uh, his Fabuland village. I love the two wall treatment and the little Lego set tiles on the wall. So great. And of course, all of the little, uh, all of those perfect Fabuland colors, right? Really great, really fun. And the shot through the window is so good. And I love that flat cap. That is one of my favorite minifig hats is that little flat cap. I think it's, so there's one that's even got some decoration on it that I really like. I love that there's micro Fabuland now. This is so this is so great. Um, really nice. Well done. Thank you so much for turning this in. I just and thank you to everybody for everything that you've been turning in because these are just these are amazing. All right. So wow, this one is awesome with all those transparent pieces. This is from Femme from the Block, our own Yano. Transmission from the Trans Blue stage. Looks like a young superfan has snuck backstage. Let's hope they don't accidentally turn off the power before the show is over. This is wonderful. Oh, look who snuck back there. This is wonderful. Look at all those amazing use of trans pieces. Oh, man. Really beautiful. Well, you know, we love the transparent um, light blue especially. And this is just wonderful. The pose, the height um, that was used. I mean, this is, there is lots to love. And look at the jewels on the floor. That's crazy. 
The jewels on the floor is perfect. Hi, sorry about Hi. that. Is this This Yano? is Yano. Yeah, check out the whole thing, all with the trans pieces wow. and the speakers with the little with the little lightning coming out. Just beautiful. What a beautiful. wonderful designer. Those surfaces and treatment of light are always so, you know, in the forefront in Yano's work. Yes. So good. And and I love those dots, jewels. The dots, the jewels, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, Yay. moody. Very moody. Bounce light. I love it. Um, so this is from Hooded One. This is um, Camera Obscura, which is Latin for darkroom. Uh, because analog photography is even a bigger part of my life than Lego, I found a way to put, uh, to put that into my SigFig build. Inspired by a photograph by Abelardo Morel, um, I decided to go for the Camera Obscura. This is the basic principle for all photography. Lying beside the, um, the SigFig is the Lego build camera from the new Diagon Alley set as a reminder of the type of cameras I like. I also mm -hmm. added a quick image of the desktop setup for the photograph. This is really great. Okay, I'm going to take a, make a prediction here and say that the light is not coming out of that, you know, it's not coming right out of the source there. I think this is, I think this is camera magic or, it's, or lighting magic it's, it's wonderful. really 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 the beautiful. reflection on the minifigure's face the soft lighting there is so lovely so, reminds me of edward moybridge so that's uh right there that's a little yay right and then there's the setup for the photo yay that is brilliant yeah really yeah, really yeah. really beautifully done Thanks for the behind the scenes. Yeah, and if you and so and it's funny. It looks like that you you used um, the Golden Gate Bridge as the as the image on the wall here. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, at the Cliff House in San Francisco, there yeah. is a giant camera obscura. Like eight, it's a it's yeah. Like you a, walk a, inside a, it. Yeah, right? you full on walk inside of it. But this is wonderful. Just just beautifully done. Beautifully done. That's great. Nice. Hooray. Thank you. All right. Oh, just poked myself in the eyeball. Oh, my slam dunk. All right. Don't do that. This is from Andrew Hornberger. Uh, trying to become more active, the Hornbergers invested in a basketball hoop. <laughs> um, Andrew has truly enjoyed going outside and shooting baskets. His dream has been to dunk on the rim, and after trying for so long, he finally got his dunk. Boom. Yay. That's great. How fun. What a fun use of pieces and, yeah, just like all of it. Really great. And we even got some coral in there. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's just, I, I love it. I just hope he does, doesn't, don't go into the basket with the ball, Andrew. <laughs> <Full on. laughs> that, that's a whole new level of, of dunk. And that font. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love the use of the arches for the M. Yeah, that's really that's like really really Boom. really smart smart building. And yeah, and by, and I love that by getting height, he was able to go sort of like beyond the eight by eight. Like, uh, oh no, he didn't because that's only a, I believe that's only a six by six on the bottom there. But this is great. I just really um, really fantastic. Ooh, hooray, so Andrew! And hooray for exercise too, right? Yes. Oh. Oh, that's a great is, shot. That's my favorite shot. Yeah, that's real. I don't know. I love this one <laughs> just because but that is like photographically a really amazing that's shot. That's great. He did it all, so, all by himself. That's awesome, Yay. Julia. Fantastic. Okay, this is from Julia Hornberger. These are the Star Wars Christmas inflatables that you are looking for. <laughs> Um, after years of exclusively decorating with white lights, Julia has fallen to the colorful side. What started with a simple string of colored lights to appease her young child has morphed into an obsession for finding just the right inflatables. With three years of the best ones being sold out before Christmas, a new game plan for this year was devised. Buy them all before October 1st. The neighbors will no longer be stopping by for decorating tips again. <laughs> Yay. I love it. Giant inflatable Yoda. That is, there's just too and much. And is it is that Santa Claus three PO in the background? They all have, yeah, they all have Santa Claus hats on. Yes, and he's got a Santa beard on. <laughs> and there's a Porg and BB-8 and R two D two, 
Oh, this is brilliant. This is so fun. And then Yoda on the top of the tree. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Sorry about that. What, what happened? Wow. That's okay. No one else saw that. Or did you? I don't anyway, know. Anyway. Um, yeah. So fantastic work, Julia. I love yeah. it. This is so good. Really nice backlighting of the star <laughs> oh, on the top child. of the tree. There's baby Yoda Yay. right there in the front with his little star. I didn't see that on the... Um, I didn't see that actually in the bigger picture. That's so great. Um, this will be our yard this year. I am all about it. Please send in photos once you have it decorated because I want to see that. I know. We could do a side-by-side. -side. That's great, Julia. I love it. Really, really great. Well done and fun and a fun subject. Okay, Peter. Um, one minute until we go live. Cameras, microphones, soundboard, stream deck, cords, and green screen are all in order. 30 seconds to live. Fade the music out, and here we go. Wait, is this a live stream or a game or a management class? Does my shirt have <laughs> buttons? Um, oh, is this a live stream of a game or a management class? Does my shirt have buttons? Yes, it does. Um, must mean it's another night to teach. Who would have thought that live streaming games is a vital tool to help me build engaging class experiences? On with the show. This is wonderful i love the mic stand with the, the robot arm for placing the mic yes it's really <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant i love it that's so fun you need to see it from the other side that's so so great um it's a really it's a really fun angle and i love how you took yeah this is a great shot yeah they're all great shots um, and then, but this one is hilarious and with seeing like, it from the other side. Well, I'm a sucker for Lego light fixtures too. Yeah, and he's always so. And Giannis has great framing. Peter's always great at framing photographs and and taking great angles. I'm always like really impressed by his photos. Awesome, nicely done. Um, okay, so this is from Jeff McElwee. Um, I was always told to dress for the job I want, not for the job I have. So now I'm in Chicago. Six clowns are in serious medical condition, and CPD has me in custody. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, that's a lot going on. I know. Um, this is... Wait, now. Is this right? Yeah, okay. I, oh, I, I love the clown. The, the clown minifig. <laughs> it does look dangerous. <laughs> Oh, I see. Go, there's more than one. All right, there, and Batman is coming down. <laughs> and I love the suitcase with the money in it. It's great. It's, I think it's a book being used as a suitcase. We see lots and lots of action from 8x8 eight eight space, right? Yeah, yeah, really fun. And I, I love that lit-up keyboard. Very cool. I love it. I love the... Um, I always like facade, right? I think yeah. it's really great. Um, I think it's really great facade. Really fun. And those ledge pieces that we like so We've much. We've got greebling with the brick pieces. Yeah, this is really this is really fun and a good use of the space, I think. Really fun. Oh, oh bricks in Chile. Lot. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you so much. Um, all right. This more is more lighting. More lighting. Lots of good lighting. This is from JMW Music. Pizza night. Mm -hmm. Every night, Ariel and I sit down with dinner in front of the TV in our favorite room of the apartment, uh, what we call the nerd room. All of our favorite things are there. Ariel's plushies, my Lego bricks, pizza, movies, and each other. What more do you need? That's like our evenings at home, except it would be Logan rather than the teddy bear. Yes. Oh, this is great. And you each have your own personal pizza. And there's your Lego, and I love the plushie. Oh, and what a great little, I love that little uh, little angle here so we can see all. And the TV has a tile on it. Very yeah, good. Yeah, watching National Geographic. I need to absolutely up my game on mine. I'm, if, if, well, like I said, I, I'm, you spend I'm sharing mine minutes, one day. <laughs> I'll show you the beginning of it so you can see how it's Work improved in progress. over the weekend. Yeah, this Source is wonderful. Source lighting, exactly. Look at this. The, the reverse angle here has completely different lighting than the one from behind the TV. This one. Yes. Yeah, it's a great use of lighting there. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Nice. All right. Oh, this is great. Whoa, great textures. Yeah, this is, um, this is from Lego Door Retriever. Lego, Lego Door Retriever. <laughs> Let me All get right. It. Lego Door Retriever. Very good. For the Sick Fig Challenge, I wanted to share a small window of what I do for work and love. 
training guide dogs for the blind. Whoa, cool job. Um, this somehow doesn't look like that, though. It is, yeah, look. Wait, is look, it? There's the dog. Oh, and I see, I see, I'm look. sorry. And he's, this... he's got the harness on made out of out of bucket handles. For some reason, I thought it was it was like a camera. I don't have my glasses on. I well, can't you just, see anything. It, it was... I get it now. Yes, this does. I see it. You couldn't mm -hmm. see the full outline. I couldn't initially. see the full outline. This, I see it now. That's this so is great. great. And he's got a, you know, like a treat bag. With yes. Him. So, um, I just wanted to, I was afraid I was showing the wrong photo, so I apologize for that. Um, let's see. I am equipped with my food pouch so I can positively reinforce the dog when they perform a desired behavior, such as stopping at the curb or finding a pedestrian push button. I have been doing this for five years and love working with these amazing dogs every day. The dog was the most challenging thing to build at this scale. I'm happy with how it mm -hmm. turned out, but I think it looks more like a Doberman than a Labrador. Well, the ears are great. The The use of the wrench for ears, I'm having, I, I can't quite make out the nose from this angle. Yeah. Um, but I love the wrench, and the use of the bucket handles for the harness is just perfect. Yeah, the bucket handle for a harness is great. I'm, ha I'm sorry, I'm, for whatever reason, having a very difficult time seeing today. Um, I th it's beautiful. I love the mm -hmm. um, the yellow grills as the crosswalk. You know, yeah. like they had the yellow bumpy the, the yellow bumpy grills. The texture in the building, the little um, the little light uh, the um, traffic light with the pedestrian button. Um, it just really all of it with the yellow behind because they always have that you know like yellow caution thing. Yeah, love it, Lego door. And I'm sorry I didn't see that at first. I didn't mean to mistake it for something else. I just my terrible eyes. Well, and then of course being on the corner here would be a big challenge for a for a guide dog, right? Yeah, and I love and I love the also I love the um, the rounded curve curb. What a fun piece and a nice yeah. window onto your life. It's a great, 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 great. Let's see. All right. <laughs> That's a Duplo from, figure, right? Uh, yeah, this is from Matthew. Matthew builds bricks. Here is my sick big minifigure habitat. Also, my new Duplo one. Yay, um, Matthew! Uh, I am building in my. Uh, I am in my room building Lego. This is great. Check Matthew. out the robot on the shelf. So he's got two of them. So he's got the regular, the regular version, and then the Duplo, and then the Duplo version of himself. It's <laughs> like we're zooming in. You know, Matthew, it really does look like you, I have to say. <laughs> I, love the, I love the little car. And the boat, the little micro boat the build boat is fantastic. really nice. And I really, and I like the little, yeah, that he's got them on the shelf behind him. Really fun. And the, and the carpet. Really great, Matthew. Nice work. I like that micro robot. Yes. <laughs> it's super cute. Oh, and is that, is it like a plane or a jet? Like on a the... spaceship, I think. On... Yeah. Very Cool. cool. Yay, Matthew! Oh, I oh I see a I see a Fabuland tuba, and I am jealous. I am jealous. <clears throat> and a and a brick built duck. Um, nicely done. So this is from MC Rat. MC Rat says this represents me because it is my sig fig on a blue and purple throne because those are my favorite colors. Yay. I'm holding a tuba because I play the tuba, and there's a crab because I love crabs, and a Minecraft chicken because I love video games and birds. Minecraft chicken, of course. Is it a chicken? Is it a duck? It's a chicken. It's no, got the. That's what they say in Minecraft. Is it a chicken or is it a duck? Oh, they do. It's in the. They always make ridiculous notes when you first log in. I know nothing about Minecraft. I played right. it for I played it collectively maybe two hours. It's my I build happy places there. This is so fun. I like the the tiling and why not put yourself on a throne? I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. And of course the tuba is fantastic. Very cool. Oh, Brickworm played tuba. Wow, you have some lung power, I gotta say, because I would not be able to do the tuba. Oh, cool, very cute. So this is from Monica Berry. Um, Monica says, I haven't really made a sig fig, so this is the best I could do with the figs that we have. Um, really wish I had, uh, at least had glasses on. We will imagine the glasses. I can um, see them. I am joined by two of our three pets, Layla the cat and Apep the snake. Cool. Um, as I am about to draw something. I wonder where Layla's sister Leela is hiding. Like my real space, things are a bit cluttered. I know nothing about that. 
Um, I wonder, I have books and art supplies, and my phone is always nearby. I tried to choose accessories and art for the walls that represented some of my interests. I have many. I think it worked. It really did. And I want to use that, or I'm planning to use that same pen in, in my piece. I love the That's museum, great. and I love the blueprints. Um, all of it is just super fun. The plant, um... The oh, and the I love the green that. micro figure on the grass is really nice. Yeah, and the jam jar picture. I think it's a Fabuland one. Um, uh, wh let's see. Um, What's that? I'm not sure. I have a couple of things. I have a couple of things. Um, uh, that was uh, answering a question. Um, I love this angle. Yeah, the down from above. And all of the different little um, like note papers and lists and lists. Yep. Well, and the use of hinges, too, to make that three-quarter round, you know, or that, yeah. uh, that corner angle. Very fun. All right. Yay, Tricky Lug. So this is from Mr. Elmo Man. Um, it shows how he likes Tricky Bricks, Harry Potter, Fabuland, Friends, Lego, and the color coral. <laughs> and the color coral. <laughs> That's great. And I is love it, it. Is it me, or is he wearing Emmett's? Vest. It is not. Too. I don't think that's Emmett's vest. Emmett has a name tag. In oh, his, you're right. His whole you're vest right. is orange. Um, I like the but, walrus a lot. This yeah, pretty much. This is very direct. It is, and I that's love so it, cool. Mr. Elmo Man. And thank you so much for including coral and your tricky lug brick. That's so great. Um, I and and also the finished base, right? The three the three plate tall base really gives it a, a more finished look. Yeah, the finished base and the and another uh, mini doll. Which is yeah. very exciting. Super fun. All right. Let's see. Moving on. Here we go. This is from uh, Ms. Slowbrickda. And this is uh, me in my happy place with the beautiful flowers I attempt to grow. <laughs> the bricks for the bamboo background are from one or more of the jungle sets from years past. I love those. Those are so cool. Oh, that's just great. Fun. I, love I always it. like those large flowers too. Really, yeah, the and the and the little the old school flowers. Are, this is great, and I believe this is the first or second time um, that you've put something in. Maybe this is the first. Oh, this is wonderful! You did another one. This is uh, same same builder, uh, Ms. Slowbrickta. Um, this is it's all about family, spending time with family. Myself and my husband are in the foreground with our Shih Tzu and one of our two cats. Take your pick. They look similar in Lego form. Um, Red-headed daughter-in-law, as I like to call her, my bonus daughter. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, daughter the hockey player. Daughter in law enforcement. Gamer future son-in-law. Gamer IT son. And at the top, audio engineer son. Um, I made these sig figs of the family members a while back. Thank you for the opportunity to showcase them. Of oh, course. Oh, how fun. This I is don't remember. wonderful. Have you ever seen that hockey player? I haven't seen that minifigure. Yeah, I think it's from a, collect it's a collectible minifigure from uh, a while back. And is that Ariel's hair? Ariel's hair. Yes, that is Ariel's hair. Nice. Good catch. Um, uh, really, wow, what a beautiful... And I love that your family's all together, and I love how you... Managed to get them all fitted together by using by building up rather yeah. than um, trying to like cram them all in one place. But um, very good, what, so wonderful. Oh, it's from uh, from Toys R Us. Very good, mm. very very good. Oh, I love it. Yeah, uh, T R U Bricktober box. That's what it was from when they used to do those little mashup of uh, oh, right. uh, characters. Really fun. Thank you so much. All right, this is from. Paint Pushers. Uh, this is from Paint Pusher. Paint Pusher's obsessions competing for attention. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> He's photographing painting. I love it. Love the flowers in the background. I love the I love the backdrop as well. Really, really, really fun. Oh, hooray! And is that um, the and um, right there on a rotator, right? Yes. Oh, they're yes. both on rotator. Oh, no, this is not paint pusher. Sorry, this is what I have as next. Apologies, apologies. 
Oh, this is Slow Brickta again. Apologize. I'm sorry. Oh, I was going to say because for a second. I was like, wow, it looks like her in this piece too. Yeah, you were going to. My apologies, everyone. Sorry, sorry. I was. I skipped one. Big, big mistake on my end. Uh, this is me in the back corner with my flowers. This is Ms. Slow Brickta again. Yeah. Um, this is me in the back corner with my flowers, spending time with my dad and mom, who have both passed five and eight years this month, respectively, doing what they enjoyed. Mom was a renowned watercolor artist, and Dad was a fine art photographer. I miss them so much, and having sig figs of them um, simulates happy memories. Mom had many sets of Lego in the house, and not just for the grandkids. Oh, now I want to oh, make I want to make sig figs of my family. I know this is wonderful, and I'm going to do my best not to get uh, teary on air. But this is really beautiful. Yep. And um, I love it. And well, I like this clear shot, but I gotta say, I really love the um, this one, this, the angle of this one. What a wonderful piece! This is really beautiful. And thank you for sharing your family with us as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, this is really, really wonderful, really wonderful. All right, this is paint pusher. Now this makes more sense. I was gonna say <laughs> now this this looks like paint pusher because I was looking at it and going, okay. Hey, this doesn't seem like. I mean, I know Paint Pusher really well, and that didn't seem um, like his build. And this definitely seems like his build. So this is yes. Um, oh, and Paint his Pusher's painting. obsessions competing for attention. So that's yes, his painting. That's one of his amazing, amazing paintings. He does um, landscapes in right? the in the background. Yeah, he does these amazing, colorful landscapes. He's got his um, pickaxe for the gems. Yeah, and, and there's the geodes. Nearby. His paint uh, for painting. And then his uh, oh yeah the geodes and then the Lego bricks and tiny um, Lego uh, bricks and tiny Lego bricks, so good. I love this. This is wonderful. Um yeah oh yeah those are Modulux bricks. That's um the, oh are, are they yeah. really? See you're so good with mixed media. Those are great. Someday I'm gonna have Modulux. Yeah. I, I had forgotten how much smaller they were. Oh, those are nano blocks. Okay. I was going to say, I thought Modulex was <laughs> like Lego size. They're, they're nano blocks. Nano blocks. Mixed nano media. <coughs> well, paint, paint Pusher and Mini Fig Chick are both renowned for being mixed media artists as well. Yes. Yes. Um, really great. I love it. All right. This. <laughs> Um, this is from Patrick Wismer and Daughter. Um, this submission includes Patrick's build. That's my rock. I don't know you. <laughs> um, and the... <laughs> you did the voice. <laughs> how do you not? That, how do you not? Give me back my purse. <laughs> I don't know you. All right. Oh, okay, back focusing. And I'm seeing the the same beard as as um, Mark Crookshank, the bearded builder, uses. I, I believe, yeah. I believe Aboon uses a similar one. Um, and then this is on the uh, and and this is the one on the, the from the from the daughter. Um, so it's and your first tricky lug mock, Parker. Thank you so much for turning this in. And this is called Scorp. This is great. With this, I love the red scorpion. I love the little the present boxes and that that mm -hmm. great um, uh, background. And the panel, right? The panel, right from the Frozen set with the birch trees. So good. Um, really, I really, really love and this. And the jewels. But I. So Wait, we have to go back too. This is such a, a like sci-fi looking piece here, and I love his shirt. I'm sorry. And then what? Aubrey said the real line thing. Give me back my purse. I, I don't, don't know, know you. you. <laughs> <laughs> that may be my favorite episode of King of the Hill. It makes me laugh so hard every time. It is so ridiculous. Anyway, I love the... Uh, yeah, the lurking monster in the background is awesome. Is awesome. Yeah, and the rocks um, sort of splitting open with yeah, like a and on there's uh, yeah, and using some hinge work on it. I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing about Bobby Hill. Oh my goodness! All right, um, really, really, it's such really a happy great. piece too. He's so happy. He's so <laughs> excited, that. and I love this, and I love this this one too. So great job, Patrick and Parker. This is wonderful. 
<laughs> yeah, and I love the uh, the karaoke. The, the microphone is great too. Very fun. Okay. Cool building techniques. I agree, oh, Wilfred. God. You 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 all better? <laughs> that's the funny thing is that's been coming up a lot lately. I don't really? know why, but yes, I've seen it in like memes and multiple things. It's um, my favorite. Well, that that and dog dancing are my favorite. The dog dancing episode. Yes, my favorite episodes of King of the Hill. Dog dancing might be my favorite. Yes. The, uh, oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty funny. Is there a limit to the number of sequins it on can a... be on a dog's costume? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. This is from Rob Ketcherside. Um, I used to bike along urban rivers through the west end of Tokyo, a slow 12 or 13 miles from from the office to home. 13 miles? Holy bananas. Wow. Um, this might be the near near the source of the Zenpukuji River in Suginami City. I wow. hope I said that right. Um, uh, from there... A shower and a seasonal beer are just five minutes away. Each mm. breath fills my nose with the smells of dinner um, from another kitchen as I pass. My bike rattles over cracks and seams in the path. There's a steady whine from my front lamp, which is powered by each revolution of my bike's wheel. Um, I'm making mental notes of left or right turns to try uh, next time as I explore the sprawling endlessness of my new home. This is beautiful. It's really lovely. And I like the combination on underneath the red fences um, of the steep slopes with snot pieces to support the... It is snot work, right, that's supporting those branches? I believe so. It's just, it's beautiful. And um, I love the story. It really, um, it really adds to the whole thing. Very cool. Oh, all right, Patrick. I'm so glad we got to your piece before you had to go back to work. But um, uh, thanks so much. And... I got a good laugh. Thank you for the for the King of the Hill reference that gave me. Uh, I, that was a good laugh. <laughs> oh yeah, um, see you at BritCon. But yeah, this is uh, this is fantastic. Really, really, um, really well done, Rob. All right. Oh, whoops. Uh, Shane Levan. Um, this is sent, called "Feeling the Weight of 30. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. I love the joke. I love the shirt, by the way. Um, the skeleton yeah, shirt. Yeah, that's cool. It is awesome. I know that is a big hat. Are you? I hope you're wearing... Why didn't you wear that on, when you were on earlier, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> I'm disappointed that you didn't wear that. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Love it. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is from Stubot. Oh, also, look, nano bricks. Um, my first ever Lego set was Fabuland back in 1980, and my m middle name is Lamb. So my sig fig was always going to be the adorable Lisa Lamb. I also have long eyelashes, so there's a family resemblance. This little 8x8 vignette shows me in my happy place tinkering with some vintage Lego, completely oblivious to the missing brick under the table. I know all about that. <laughs> I just found one from the bookshop in the crook of my chair here today when I was moving things around. So that's a good thing. Um, it's really great. And um, the number 13 crocodile tile represents my lucky number. That's such a cool tile. I love this. That mirror piece is great. The crocodile tile is wonderful. The, um, the fact that the lamb is building bricks. And the, I mean, it's just, mm -hmm. it's so personal. The sort um, of valence over the window is really nice too to to mask the back side of that window brick. Yeah, it's um, it's just mm, I love it. And oh, I, I see. It. So it's one block above the window, and that's got snot on it. Well, and you know what I appreciate because I love doing that in mine is I love the finishing work on the the top that he put tiles on the top. It just yeah, there's gives not it a, such a nice finished look. The right? only studs here are ones that are deliberately. Yeah. Good. Yeah. The, the, the lack of studs is beautiful. I love it. Very, very cool. All right. Well, not lack of, but the, uh, I know the, what you're yes. saying. <laughs> All right. This is from WGJL builds. And this is you. And he says the, um, the, we are playing the office theme while this is playing. <laughs> Da, 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 da. I can't do it all or else we'll get we'll get in trouble. 
<laughs> Sorry. So there you go. And I love the, uh, I, you know, we love The Office. You know, we just watched an episode of The Office yesterday. Yes. And um, I won't go into details, but they're um, standing up looking out through the windows of The Office at Dwight by his car. Right? And we were there every day. We were on Lego Masters. Yes. Right where Dwight's car was. Yeah, so Lego Masters filmed right next door to the office, or the building that was used as the outside of Dunder Mifflin. Um, and so, yeah, the every time you see, like, the driveway, or where the, the parking like, lot. there's that fence in the parking lot, that's right where we were filming. So we were, we were like, around that, like, all the, all, all the time. <laughs> all right. This is from Wilfred. I have no sig fig, or I have zero sig fig, or more exactly, it is stranded on a shelf in my ex-partner's flat. Mm. Um, but I have three happy places where my sig fig would live. The movie theater, my Lego cave, and the gym. I love the combination. Yeah. It's really, really fun. I love the... Well, I'm, I like the... The little thing with the shield and the and the ticket—it's really, uh, really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, and what's going on on the cliff in the lower in the deep in the corner there? What's in that cliff? Is it a barbell? Oh, that makes perfect sense, right? The gym. Yep, there's the gym. Really, really great. And I love them and the the little movie theater add-on with the ticket and the little screen and the and the star. It's all good. See, I love. I love when people build, I mean, I love when people build um, regularly and also, like, representationally. Like, I love how this is representational yeah, of like the a things that he likes. ideas yeah. stand in for the whole thing. And that looks like a comfy chair, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the wand is a light. Very good. Very good. Awesome. Thank you so much, Wilfred. Oh, this is delightful. Super cheerful. This Look at is, that sun. Um, this is from Yoritomo, uh, a.k.a. Joel. So, um, uh, Joel Marbellas, who's here in the chat. Um, this vignette is inspired by the theme that fostered my love for Lego when I was a child. Pirates, pirates, pirates! The skeletal Captain Redbeard is a call-out to my dark age. Also, my sig fig didn't want us to share his sushi. Um, <laughs> the torso print is a placeholder until Lego publishes a pirates-themed graphic tee torso. This is so fun hey, and Kevin cheerful. Kevin Thomas, thank you for liking the stream. Thank you so much. Um, and we always like the appearance of the seagull. Yes. Um, I especially like the shark surfboard as a shark. Yes. <laughs> um, I like adding elements in my vignettes, which can tell a story, mostly for comedic relief. Funny to me, not so much for others. <laughs> I think well, it's I don't great. know. It's funny for us, too. No, I love the little sun peeking out from behind the clouds. The, yeah, the, the shark surfboard as a shark is brilliant, by the way. That's yeah. an excellent parts usage. And then with the thick base, it hides the rest of the surfboard. Yes, and I need that seagull. Um, I think this looks... I and uh, Yeah, the floating bottle. Very yes. clever. Very clever. Yeah, and, and, and building it up. And you use your Tricky Bricks bricks. So Yay. awesome. Thank you so much. Um, really, really nicely done. And I love that little barrel piece. Which, do you know what theme that barrel piece was created for? Fabulous. That's right. <laughs> it had to be. I knew you weren't going to say Bionicles, right? Well, was I? Um, I think we know who this is from. This is from Xander. This is the backstory of the building coming up after it. Okay. Um, in a time machine accident, Bob has been thrown into a different dimension, and the version of him from that dimension has come to take his place. Um, uh, he says, I'm sorry it didn't couldn't fit on a base plate. The only way I could make it was to do some upside-down building. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Um, so here we go. Well, the hinge work is really great in that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you did a great job. Building it up is totally fine. So Bob is going into another dimension with his other with his other figure. <laughs> um, so this is um, here we go, um, and so this is what happens when you spill tea on the pedal of your dad's car while he's in the store. <laughs> uh oh. Um, Bob has changed outfits. So this is his alternate universe. Bob is okay. the one with the hat on. Um, also, the character in the car is me, even though I have never spilled tea on the pedal of my dad's car. Good, because <laughs> I was worried for a minute that this was a true-to-life story. 
I nice love it. Nice and black and white. Yeah, it looks great in black and white. Well, I love the falling over statue that you can see in this yeah. side. And then um, the 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 car. The like launching in, car. Yeah, the launching car in the air is amazing. That's, again, <laughs> a lot of action for 8x8. Eight eight. And the shapes on the car are really nice, too. Like that huge grill and the rounded hood. Yes. Yeah, it's really, um, it's really, really well done. Um, so, oh, Brickworm was asking if there was new, if there were tricky bricks, bricks for the newer members. Um, yes, you know what? We'll do another round. Uh, we have to do another mm -hmm. round of brick sending out because I know, and actually, I'm not surprised considering that we sent out 75 packages or more that a couple of them didn't make it to their destination. Yeah, we <laughs> so we're make going sure to be, um, we're going to. Uh, get that dealt with and we will do another round so that new people will be able to to sign up mm -hmm. Shane you should have gotten yours I know for sure that I sent yours out but I also know that um, a couple of people um, in your round didn't get them which is weird and I don't like that so we'll see yeah we'll get we'll get everything listed and make sure everyone gets yeah theirs. although I will say that the first round that we sent out like I saw people saying they just got theirs weeks after we sent them out so yeah, it's really uneven. Some people got there super fast. Yeah. Too. All right. So very good, Xander. Thank you so much for these awesome builds. That was really fun, and I really love the photos. The photo of the two of the things uh, together were so good. Whoa. Awesome. So this is from Kim. Uh, my sig fig is cosplaying as Wonder Woman while reading the Ninja Knockouts comic book by Crystal Star, Remy Flores, Samantha Stevens, and Nerd Ninja. She's currently reading the panel with Crystal in cosplay. At a convention. Who is that behind her? Is that Kim Chris dressed as Catwoman? She is missing in person conventions. Yeah, I'm missing in person conventions too. Well, we, I we love, love it. Crystal and her um, and her comic book is really great. And we're gonna be in the comic book next time. It's true. Yeah, maybe I'm her, her comic book's for grown ups, right? Yes, it's a yeah, it's a more a more uh, grown up comic book. Um, all right, very cool. All right. And I love that you, by the way, um, uh, Zerakino said, thank you to Brickworm for giving me the idea to dress my sig fig in cosplay when I realized <laughs> that my sig fig hair was missing. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's very good. All right, this is from Jordan Zender. The bottom fig is my son and two of his favorite Ninjago figures. Oh, nope, there, I think that's a different one. Let's see, nope, okay, well, we Going are... back? Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's who's his favorite figures. There we go. The ice cream uh, and the, uh, you know, Sir Frost cream. Um, <laughs> uh, and then this is the, and then, then this is Josh's, this is me thinking of the next adventure of Sir Melts a Lot and Sir, and Sir Frost cream. <laughs> Happy place. All right. This is, oh, I love the back to back figs, by the way. Yeah. Um, all right. So this is from Lana Zaccardi. Lana designed her dance studio uh, where she takes dance classes. Oh, cool. Uh, wait, is that this one? Is this the... Yeah, uh, you can see the ballet bar, the bar right there yep. and the mirror. Um, uh, to where she takes ballet classes while her dance teacher plays piano to provide music for the students. I think Dad is going to start taking building lessons from Lana now. <laughs> well, that piano is so cool. Yeah. Nice, nice work on the piano with the keys. And they always have the, those little knobs on the sides. Very, very fun. And some chocolate in the basket. Just, <laughs> I know. You know, for break time. Very, I love And well, again, it's so finished on the top. I know, I want that. I wow, want she's that a great piece. builder. It's so good. <laughs> All right, this is from Rob Zaccardi. Rob Sigfig is playing the smallest trumpet that I could build. <laughs> <laughs> um... The, um, slowly, my shows are coming back, but I can't wait to hit the stage indoors again. I, I love it. I hear you. And I know, I know that there's probably something um, that Richard really likes about this particular build. Well, the angled truss with all those light <laughs> fixtures with different colored gel on them are pretty great. And I know that truss is hard to work with because you can't clip on to all the members of it. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. that trumpet with the keys is really good and the and the brass mouthpiece. Yeah, I think the closest they thing they have to the trumpet is the clown horn, like the bulb horn. Oh, yeah, that would have a different yeah, kind of feel to it. different feel, absolutely. And then I love the keyboard, too. Yeah, the keyboard's great, and the and the sheet music. It was very... Um, 
Oh, Sir Frost Cream, Sir Mouse Lot was my son, uh, my build. Son's build was two different versions of Kia from Injago. Got it. Sorry I about understand. that. I um, understand. Um, understood. All right. Apologies about that. It's hard to to sometimes to keep it all straight. But this is great. Yeah, I love this. And, of course, I love the Griebel textured walls. Well, yeah, and so many clubs are, you know, like like comedy clubs and music clubs are featuring bricks, you know, and, and yeah. raw surfaces. Yeah, very cool. All right, this is from Vanessa Zaccardi. Vanessa is limited during recess to no balls or other toys due to current school restrictions. So she, on the right, is playing kick the stick <laughs> <laughs> right? with her friend Elizabeth on the right. Uh, no, so she's, I think she's on the left, and then her friend is on the right. No, she is on the right. Sorry, that... it says right on both of these. So her friend's on the left, she's on the right, because I recognize her hair. Um, in the parking lot by the bushes. <laughs> right, that, that's a game you can play in 2020, Kick the Stick. <laughs> Although, kicking the stick while wearing flip-flops... Might that would be a tough oh, one? Oh yeah, that would that would that would hurt. But I love I love kick the stick is pretty hilarious. Yep, and then the use the use of a dot to angle the stick I think is pretty cool. The use of a one by one round plate. Well, and the thing that I love about it is she totally stuck to the eight by eight thing. Yep, but then was able to like like for the background you know used another Lego building as the as the school. Yeah, I that was think good. I think that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa's it's, on the right. That's what I thought. Yes, I recognize her. Uh, I recognize her hairdo. And it's also um, one of those finished out base plates. It's two layers thick, made of you know smaller pieces. Now I'm gonna. I want to just scroll back here real quick. So we make sure we get this right. Um, so that's Joshua. Golly, I don't know what happened to. We may have to go take a look for. Uh, for Jordans, and we'll show it on Monday because I don't see okay, it here. Let's make a note you on never know. the script. Um, yeah, but wow, everybody, that was an amazing slideshow. That was one of our longer ones. There was a lot of uh, a lot of people. Yeah, I think there were over week. forty entries, weren't there? Yeah, close to fifty. It was pretty amazing. Um, oh, well, I hate to do it, but I have a really, really busy day at work today. I've got a new project that I am supposed to be working on. So. Everyone, I'm so glad that you built and shared your work. They're really fun, inspiring pieces, and they made me really want to, you know... Um, make yours better? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> well, I wanna, I'm want to. i going to start mine and make it this weekend. <laughs> yes. Um, so I hope you all have a great weekend. If you go to BrickCon, I hope to see you at BrickCon. Yep. And um, I'm just going to say bye, have a great day. Yep. All and, right. And Flynn, I like your piece. Oh, well, it's work in right. progress. It's a work. It is definitely a work in progress. <laughs> Bye everyone. Happy building. <laughs> all right, so here's mine. <laughs> and I was trying to get all that. Now, so I'll tell you what I was going to do with it and then that way you'll be able to see it. I just didn't have time to search for parts this morning. I literally took 15 minutes to build this. But here is so this is our living room. We do have a big we have a big blue couch and then I just fell off the couch. And there's me with what's supposed to be a video game controller playing video games with my coffee balanced on the couch arm, which I get in trouble for all the time, but I've never spilled it. Um, and then my phone on the floor, because it's always there, right by. And um, I'm going to add a couple of more details, but yeah, I just did a little, it was a, this was a quickie, like a super, super quickie. And then, uh, and you see, like, I don't even sit on the couch. That's like how it is, right? <laughs> So there's me playing video games, and you'll see um, you'll see the rest of it on Monday because I have a couple of other ideas. Like we actually have a um, like we have a skeleton, like a medical skeleton that stands in the corner. So I want to put a, the skeleton in there, and um, and really what usually happens is I'm playing multiple. Like I've got my phone, and then maybe like I've got my iPad, and then I got something else. But yeah, and I, I, and I couldn't, like I couldn't find also, I couldn't find our little uh, game controller piece. But um, but yeah, it's not, I think it's not too bad for a quickie. Yeah, whoops. All right. Um, so what have we got? Oh yes, the next challenge. Our first challenge for October. So our first challenge for October is make a monster. Make a monster. That is your challenge for the next build. Um, we're not going to put any limits on it other than the usual photograph, you know, like the number of photograph limits and all that stuff. 
But, uh, you know, in honor of Frankenstein, that's going to be our first one. Make a monster. So, really, really excited. Oh, and thank you, everybody, so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> just, like, super fast. Um, but, yeah, I am uh, uh, looking forward to seeing what monsters... Uh, people will make and you know if that mean it could be anything you want it could be a mosaic it can be a 3d build it can be a minifig vignette it's up to you uh make a monster all right let's see um i think um well, yeah some quick reminders we are doing uh our subscription drive and we're hoping to we're at 18 i think we're a little above 1840 now we have not too much to go we have 160 subscribers left before we can give away that Monkey King uh, Warrior Mech set that we've got. All right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, and also, too, like for, the, um, like, for the Monster Challenge, just like we always do and just like they, um, they do uh, at LEGO, you know, we are a family, we're a family friendly show and we, we don't really dive into the, a, a, a lot of the things that are going out in the outside world. So let's keep it, uh, keep it family friendly and fun. Um, and let's see what else, what else? Um, yeah, look at this. This was the script for today. Almost two entire pages full. <laughs> All right. Um, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty amazing. But, so, uh, just wanted to, yes? Remember BrickCon. I'm being reminded about BrickCon. Yes, don't forget, BrickCon is this weekend. It's happened starting today. Um, and we are going to, uh, uh, we're going to be there uh, tomorrow and Sunday for a little while in Boone's uh, room. Uh, he's got a, a Zoom room that we will be in. And, of course, the Fab Max builds will be there. I'm crossing fingers that somebody from our collaboration gets an award. Because that would be super exciting. Like, what um, what a fun and exciting thing that would be to be able to have one of our, our Tricky Luggers uh, Fab Max's builds come home with, a, with an award. I have some... I have, my, I have my thoughts. I'll just say that. I have my thoughts. Um, uh, what else what else um okay yes yeah, so you have uh, don't forget for the new challenge the make a monster challenge you have a week you'll they'll be due next thursday at 5 p.m just like always i'll put the article up on the website um and let's see we've got uh, oh yeah don't forget to join me today at 2 p.m on twitch where i'm going to be building more on the, um, I'm pointing at Fabuland actually, I'm gonna be building more on the amazing um, Hogwarts Castle build, which really, um, I have to say it's rivaling, um, it's rivaling Ninjago City as one of my favorite builds. Um, yes, a reminder, thank you, Brickworm, a big, a big reminder. Um, there is no stream this Sunday. We are taking off this Sunday for BrickCon. So um, if you come here looking for the stream, we will not be here. Um, but we will be back on Monday. Um, and I'm hoping we are... Um, um, I've got some... Okay, I have a little announcement. Now we're setting it up. We're still getting the schedule straightened out um, about how it's going to be and when it's going to be. But thanks to Holly, um, I have... Um, we have secured one of the Lego designers who worked on the bookshop. He also worked on a bunch of elves sets. So we are going to be, we're setting that up with him now. So be on the lookout for a, um, an interview uh, that's coming up. I think it's going to be really fun. I'm hoping to have him on while we're still working on the bookshop. So we can kind of like have it there and like talk to, I know Holly's like our casting agent. She's so good at stuff like that. Um, Let's see. Uh, were the Fab Max builds submitted separately? I don't know. I'm, I'm not quite sure what you mean by submitted separately. I submitted all of them um, as a group. So there was like 114 or 15 images. Um, and I, um, everybody's was name, and I gave them a spreadsheet with everybody's names and everything. So hopefully they got all that right. Like I, I took a lot of time making sure everything was straightened out. So hopefully it all um, comes through the way it's supposed to. 
Um, let's see. Anyway, what else now? What else now? I'm loving. I'm totally all about Thunder Man on a shark. I'm. This is going to be a permanent addition to my office. <laughs> um. <coughs> anyway, thank you everybody so much for joining us today. Uh. Oh, yeah. Sh um, tomorrow is AFOL Day, by the way, for those of you who can actually go into uh, uh, for those of you who can actually go into a Lego store that is happening tomorrow. If you have that uh, that thing on there. Hey, Jason Seacrest is here. Welcome, buddy. How's it going? We haven't seen you in a while. Um, yes, Thunderman is. Of course, he rides a shark when he's not jumping over it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, I wanted to say, um, again, thank you everybody for so, so much for everything that you do to make, um, Tricky Lug what it is, um, by, by doing these build challenges, by doing things like the Fab Max build, by showing up here, um, you know, four days a week and watching and supporting. And even if you, even if you don't catch it live, you're going back and catching it later. It means so much to us to have, um, a connection with all of you. So I'm so glad that we're able to do these things. Um, these slideshows, especially, I think it just shows the creative art that we can all make together. And I think that's just a beautiful thing. So thank you again. Um, so I hope that, uh, sorry, I'm looking at the, I have to be in school, so it's hard to catch a stream. Yes, I understand. That's, uh, that's, that's totally, f uh, fine. Um, I, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we understand that people have things to do and, you know, that's totally fine. If you, you, well, you can watch it later or just catch it when you can catch it. It's totally fine. We appreciate that. Um, so thank you, everybody, so much for joining us today. Uh, we will be back on Monday, Monday at 10 a.m., uh, working on the bookshop. And if you want to catch work on the Hogwarts Castle, you can catch me on Twitch at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. And I will be there um clicking some bricks together and playing some kooky music, which we can do now on Twitch, which is amazing. So, all right, everybody, thank you so much. And until next time, please stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, get your flu shot, and we'll see you on Monday at 10 a.m. or at Twitch on 2 p.m. today. All right, bye, everyone.